Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today, guess what? You are going to um, just join me in going through this right here, okay? So now I have to show you this. This is a box that I keep on my desk that I put certain um, happy mails in, right? So this is a sweet happy mail that I got from my friend Heidi and some other stuff. So we're gonna scoot this over here for a little bit and we're just gonna go through and we're going to, um, I'm, I just cleaned off my desk and so I want to put these different things in piles where I can then uh, put them away for one, put them away in my room for use later. Okay, so this I have to show you. This was so sweet. Um, I had received this yesterday, a happy mail from um, from a sweet uh, YouTube and Facebook friend, uh, Peggy. So Peggy, if you're watching, thank you so much. It's so sweet. Your card and everything is in my journal over there um, so I could document it. But look how sweet, okay? Oh my gosh, she's like a master, a master seamstress. Look at that pretty card. All sewn on the edges, two little sewn cards here, a sweet tag, right? So cute. So this is gonna go in the ephemera pile up there. Now this right here is just simply gorgeous. Look at that, first of all, that tag is beautiful. I love that. And then this is a snippet roll. Now, I'm guessing that she put this button on here to keep it all wound up, right? But look how sweet this is. She has, I'm going to make some of these too. I'm going to try to make some of these myself. She has little snippets of probably inch by inch pieces of fabric that she overlaps. See, she overlaps them a little bit. And then she does two zigzag stitches and a straight stitch down. And then you can use this as, oh my gosh, some of it's uh, pinked, you know, using pinking shears. And oh my gosh, that's just so fabulous. So I'm gonna put this with my fibers. Put this with my fibers to use, cause that'll be fun. That's so adorable. And look at, oh gosh, so cute. Okay, now look at these napkins. Okay, there's Venice, so pretty. This is so cute. By the time she had caught the flamingo and brought it back, the flight was over. That's cute. I love that. That's fun. So all these beautiful, that's very boho-ish, very nice. All these napkins that I can use, those are beautiful, beautiful florals. Ooh, this one I should put in my book because, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Because I talked to my girlfriend Heidi the other day and it was fun. There's another boho one, so pretty. That's a beautiful design, that's so pretty. Look at that, apples and birds, beautiful. I need to look online too, oh, I love that. See, now I would love to use this as a, what's it called? A reference, right? As a reference for watercolor. That would be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna set that over there because that's, oh, and this one too, look how pretty. Yep, reference for, before I use it up as a napkin, I wanna use it as a reference for watercolor. That goes over there, okay. Some uh, Paris, oh, look at those. Those are so pretty, very pretty. There's black and white, that's always fun. Here's this one with the butterfly, I love that one, and like the irises. Oh, how springtime is that? So pretty. And then here's Venice again, very nice. So thank you so much, thank you so much. So all of these now go into the napkin pile. I don't know what all is in this basket, okay? So <laughs> we're gonna just separate it. All right, so here are, okay, here are Christmas things. So they're gonna go in Christmas. These are, these would be great to use in my, um, in my Fobonichi, or not Fobonichi, oh my gosh. I just did the video on the Fobonichi, that's why I said that, in my Creative Daily Journal. Here's Christmas things, these are from Heidi. I love this, keep it sassy. Okay, this, I'm not sure. Some of these might have come from Brooke. Um, 
or in otherwise in a happy mail. These are always fun. So these need to go in the vintage pile. Now I have a vintage pile. This I was actually gonna send to somebody. So this goes in the send it to somebody pile over here. Okay, <laughs> so we're having lots of piles. Okay, this is like the paper that I have on my desk. It's drop paper and what I wanna do is smush it with uh, markers and then I can use it in collage. So that's gonna go with the art papers. Okay, here is scrapbook paper. Now, scrapbook paper you can use for a number of things, right? You can use it to make collage paper. You can use it to make tags. I can cut it and make a tag out of it. So lots of different things for that. So we'll just put the bigger pieces of scrapbook paper here. Okay, here is um, a book. Oh my gosh, look at that. I hope that's not... I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, look at that. Okay, so this is obviously going to go into my, um, oh, look at the sloths. Okay. All right, that can go also for things I might want to send away, but that's collage anyway. Okay, this is collage. This is collage. All right, that's going to go over there by the collages. Okay. I think I'm gonna use this in my book for yesterday because these are a bunch of like school kids, you know, it appears to be like at school. And we just found out that our schools are closing, so that's gonna go in my book there. And then this right here, helping mama cook or whatever, um, or daddy cook in the case of my house, um, this can actually go on a page as well because you know, while everybody's home, you can be cooking together and, all that so I'm putting it right over there on top of my book this is collage this I got from my suite I hope you can see that without a glare so collage piece over there okay this is a beautiful trim okay we're just gonna put that right there oh cuz I have more I have more here more trims more trims so pretty okay see that right there that this little scrap of paper is going to go into my scrap bin. And let me see, I have my scrap bins all mixed up now. Okay. Um, nope, not that one either. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. Anyway, see, I have a scrap bin like this. No, that's not the right one. A scrap bin like this, perhaps? Nope, that's not the right one either. <laughs> Okay, this scrap bin, the one that I showed you guys the other day. There, that's where that's going. Okay, I'm gonna put this right on the desk. This is Halloween, so I'm gonna put this, I do have somewhere um, a folder that has like Halloween stuff. Okay, here's some cute little tabs, right? So I'm gonna put that in the tab section. This would be great to use as a journaling spot or something, so that's gonna go there. All of these things, all the things, all the things, okay? So this right here, this can go, of course, in a journaling spot, okay? So I'm gonna put that there. I'm not sure if this is a rub-on or if it's a sticker. I think I just cut them out and put them on, but here's some um, sweet little embellishments, right? So this is gonna go in my embellishment box. That's gonna go over here. There's more butterflies. This is um, this is also gonna go, I'm gonna put that in that pile there because I can decorate with that. These are little embellishments, so I'm gonna put these over, over there. Okay, these are hilarious, so I love them for my journal. These are bits of scrapbook paper, so those go right there, okay? Here's some extra envelopes I made, okay? So those can go in that pile up there. Here are little embellishments here. That's cute, huh? So I'll put that there, maybe? Okay, here is a card that I can use within my journal. This is a sweet little, um, I received this in Happy Mail. It. I hope I'm in frame, okay. It's, um, What's it called? A coffee filter, a dyed coffee filter it would look so cute on a page. Okay, this is something that I don't want anymore. It's, I don't even know what it was. Okay, that is so cute, look at that. Let this epic day begin and I would just cover this. This came in Happy Mail as well. I could cover that, so that can go in my journal. 
This, not sure why I have this. We must have started a new something, I don't know. Okay, here is a W and an E. So a stencil, that will go into painty stuff. So I'll make a pile over there for that. Here is, oh look, here are some more tabs. Look how fun those are. Just different tabs. So I do have a holder for tabs. Oh, look how pretty that is. Is this, okay, this can go in my, that's so pretty. That can go in my journal as well. Or you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this in the vintage pile, which is right here, okay? Vintage pile, more tabs, beautiful. Oh, look at that beautiful um, paper clip. Yeah, yes please. Okay, that's gonna go in the journal as well. As well as this one, look how sweet that is. That's gonna go in there too. Or you know what, I have a purple journal that I'm making. So, hmm, okay. I'm gonna put these in a different pile. Okay, I don't know what that's for, so that's going in the garbage. All right, let's see. These are all scrapbook papers that I have used. I know they're like super glossy and whatnot, but they're, those are gonna go there. Tissue paper, this I'm gonna put with my napkins because that's where that goes. Look at that, another one of these beautiful, it looks like a smush um, bright colors. Gosh, I love pink and orange together. Journal, okay. This is, that can go in my journal when I'm talking about my daughter. This is just, uh, sorry if it's like really glary, this is just a cutout. So this is gonna go in my magazine clippings over there. Okay, this right here, I need to put this in a pile to cut out, okay? This is from, this is add-on number five from Brooks and Darla's uh, printables, okay? So, yes, and then I have these printables too of the calendar and I made a purse calendar out of this digi kit. Okay, I loved it. And I'll put that link below in case you wanna see it. Um, and then here's some other things. So yeah, these this goes in the pile of to-dos, right? To cut out and use in my book. Look at those to-do things, they're so huge. This is all from Brooks and Darla's um, it's, it was called the girly, the girly Planner Kit, I think, and it's still in her Etsy, so I will go ahead and link that. But look at all the, just gorgeousness, just gorgeousness. Oh my goodness. And then these, I need to cut these out and put in all my books because I'm using these in my Creative Daily Journal. Okay, okay, I love those. All right, so this all goes in a separate pile over here of to cut out. All right, here we go extra papers this goes in my scrap bin uh this is decorative scrapbook bigger pieces okay now look at all this okay all right all of the, i have some napkins i have some uh piano paper it's all in vin oh i have some japanese in there um this is going in the vintage pile like that okay so is this this is music paper, so, yep. This is a piece of um, craft file folder. Okay, so we got a big vintage pile going. All right, this is more Brookies. Um, these are just different sizes, right? So that all is going over there, okay. This is watercolor paper, so I could easily make this into a tag. I can watercolor on it. I'm gonna put it up there. This poor cat has never found a home. Never found a home, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna put it over there to send out, maybe, possibly. Okay, these are all clippings, right? So magazine clippings go over there. This is more watercolor paper in the side. I need to cut these down. So I'll have to put that over there. Okay, here is some extra ribbon that I have, and this is what I do with this. I have, I received this in Happy Mail once, and so whenever I have really tiny little bits, I shove them in here and I put them right next to me so that when I'm working on my journal, I have them right at arm's reach, 
And if I need a tag or something like that, okay, here's a magazine clipping. Magazine clipping. Okay, now here are some, this is for April. Okay, that and hello, we're in, are we in April still? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Okay, yeah, these are my April stickers. Why they're in here, I have no idea, but I've been using them. Look at that, yep, we're over here, so I'm only five days behind, no big deal. That's gonna go with my book. This is collage paper. Hmm, I don't even know what to do with this. I guess just put it somewhere, I don't know. Maybe just to cut out. Maybe I need to start a file on that. Hmm. Okay, here are some, this is an extra card, another extra card of uh, watercolor cards I did, so I need to put those away in my watercolor card drawer. Okay, stickers, they can go over here. These are all th things about like what's going on in the world today, right? Just funny little things. You can read them for yourself. Yeah. I've noticed a lot you're not posting selfies anymore since the beauty salons have closed. <laughs> okay, so those go on my book right next to me. Okay, here, remember, we looked at these before. Green Giant. Hmm. I think I was going to cut that out because I, I had a funny memory. All right, so all this is magazine clippings. All right, all of these. We just did these the other day, right? I love these. All these floral ones sorry if it's like super yeah okay so I have all of these that I need to go through and cut out or oh yeah there's the green giant I was gonna cut this out because it reminded me of my brother super funny okay all of these little things in here all these are magazine clippings and somebody asked me the other day what I do with my magazine clippings right and that's gonna be for another video, okay? Because I'll I'll show you, I do separate these. I don't really have like a super duper filing system or anything like that. Sorry if there's a glare. Um, yeah, I don't have a super duper file system. Uh, they just kind of, yeah, I don't know. I have to figure that out still, okay? I have to figure it out still, so at any rate. We'll do that at another time. And yes, so look, yay, empty basket that I can use somewhere else. Okay, so we've got all of our piles, right? And then this I'm gonna also put, now we're gonna consolidate the piles, okay? So this was all the stuff that I could put in my journal, right? These things I can use in my journal. This goes in my Christmas stuff. This I can use in a journal for a decoration. Tabs, I have a special place for tabs. Um, these cute little things, these little embellishment, flower embellishments, I can use those in my book. My whole goal here in emptying this basket out is to use the stuff that's in it. Stickers go in my sticker box, but they can also, these uh, little emoji things, these can go over by my book. So. All of these things are gonna go in my book as well because I can use this stuff to decorate a page. This is gonna go in another scrap bin because I can use these to make various tags and all of that. So yeah, look at this big old pile of yumminess. This is all vintage stuff I can use whenever I do a vintage book. The, these beautiful paper clips that I got in Happy Mail, thank you. These are gonna go in, um, I'm gonna put, oh, I need to glue that a little bit down. These are gonna go in a purple book that I have, yeah. Tabs go away um, in the tab bag. And then I have my cards here that I can put away to send to somebody. Okay, so we're all done, we're all done. That didn't, well, that went rather quickly. So now I'm gonna put all these piles away. And then that's one more thing organized, so. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> and I'll talk to you all real soon. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Bye for now.